Welcome back, heroes, to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode, we gained enough star chips to make it into the uh, top four, I think it is, of Duelist Kingdom. Pegasus has taken Kyber's Soul, which is not great, and now we're going to be doing, I think, Yugi vs. Mai next, or Joey vs. Nope, Yugi vs. Mai. Then we got Joey vs. Bandit Keith, which is going to be a very, very fun duel. So, Duel Identity. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals, and Yugi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again. With Grandpa's soul at stake, I have to. Yugi and Joey walked to the arena and met with the two other finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals and had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai and Bandit Keith. I love the name, is, his name is just Bandit Keith, not just Keith, it's just go add that bandit in there. <laughs> but I welcome all of you to the playoff arena. Here is where the last great Duel Monsters duels shall be waged to determine the championship of the Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. Only one of you shall win the three million dollar prize. And of course, the victor in the playoffs shall also learn, also earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or her heart most desires. And if it's in within my vast power to do so, their wish will be granted. The victor will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom champion, ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Surely any duelist that has come this far must realize that the title and not the money is the real prize. Is that not so? You're a regular comedian. The money is all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes, I'm sure some of you have more right in this tournament than others. Right, Yugi? You've got my grandpa's soul, and Mokuba, and even set Kaiba captive. And I'll find a way to defeat you and save them all. The first semi-final match was Yugi vs Mai. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think the only person a duelist could trust was herself. Everyone else was just an opponent. Then I met Yugi, and learned through him that even the strongest opponents in the arena could still be friends outside it. If he hadn't loaned me his star chips, I might have never made it to the final round. I owe him a very great debt. I promise Yugi an honourable duel, that's just what I'm going to give him. But if he thinks this, uh, that means I'm not going to battle all out, he's dreaming. I'm going to give this match everything I've got so when Yugi goes down, it'll be, a, it'll be a victory I can be proud of. I promise him an honourable duel, not an easy one. Oh, this is um, when she uses um, Mirror Wall. Which I remember in the anime was super broken because I'm pretty sure you, in the actual TCG, you don't. No, you do pay 2,000 life points per turn. I think it is. In the anime, you didn't pay any life points. So she just kept it up, and Yugi like just struggled against Mirror Wall, and that's all I can remember. I can't remember how he wins, but I definitely remember the Mirror Wall. Which, oh, Black lost a soldier. Nice, dude. I love Black lost a soldier. Just I love the artwork. And Harpy's Hunting Ground, great. It's actually kind of a bad hang, so I can't do anything. Right, um... I can't do anything. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> I'm assuming her face down is most likely going to be, um... Mirror Wall. Now you have to pop something with Harpy's Hunting Ground, so you pop your face down, good. Which, oh, okay. Oh, this can be some massive damage. 4,400. Yikes, that kind of sucks, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm guessing our fusion is Gaia the Dragon Champion. Got Mirror Force, great. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we just got a set Mirror Force and then, um, yeah, go from there. If she summons another Harpy, our Mirror Force is gone and we lose. Okay, good. If she summoned anything, we would have just... Oh man, that could have been bad. Alright, Mirror Force. Oh, come on. That kind of sucks. Okay, we've got no cards in hand. All we have to do is just like draw something really good. Uh, I don't know this is... It's like one monster you control that is owned... Okay. If that face down has more than a uh, 1,800 attack, we lose. Or if she summons another monster. Okay, cool. We're just living. This is the brickiest hand ever that I... Just, it's so bad. There, there we go, right. So, we just have to, uh... 
get Black Lost the Soldier out. Alright, so we're... Wait, what are we... Okay, so we're targeting this, and then... Yeah, okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't want to just throw away Blotless the Soldier. Trying to summon Blotless the Soldier, that would have been pretty bad, but... Uh, summon this dude in attack. And then we'll give him Horn of the Unicorn. Up his attack even more. Uh, what is... Oh, I don't know what monster recovery... Okay, I guess... So, target one monster you are controlling the opponent. If that monster is still on the field, shuffle it in your entire hand... Wait. Target one monster you control that is owned by you. If that monster is still on the field, shuffle it in your entire hand to the deck. Also, after that, draw cards equal to the number of cards you shuffled from your hand into the deck. What is the effect? I don't want... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, activate that. 3,700 attack now. Ooh. And let's attack that for what? 1-9 damage, nice. Oh, the problem is, she's going to pop my Horn of the Unicorn and then I have to draw that card again. She's got a Harpy to hand, but she might set it, so it should be fine. Please set. Cool. That's brilliant for us. If we turn this all around and win, I'll be so shocked, dude. Right. Gonna summon this, because I don't think, even if you get your strongest monster out, you shouldn't be able to do more than 1,800 damage to us. It should be fine. Alright. Gonna attack this. And that other one's like the harp you just draw. Draw? Drew. And it shouldn't have that much defense, right? Harpies are quite low defense. One for our. Oh, wait! Hey! Ooh. And yeah. And phase. We are winning this duel, dude. Oh, I don't want to jinx myself, but we're turning it around a little bit at least. <laughs> oh man, such a bricky hand. Alright, nice. Come on, come on, another monster. Ooh, snatch steel, okay. Oh. Risking it attacking with this, but. I want to try and get that 3,700 in, because that will do so much! Okay, cool. And now, attack for 47. Look at that life point just drop down. One more direct attack from Blackluster Soldier, and it's over, dude! God, I love Blackluster Soldier, it looks so cool, man. Love that armor. Just kind of reminds me of like a Dragoon from um, Final Fantasy a little bit. Maybe the helmet. So cool. Oh, we win. Alright, Geki! And then we just attack for 3-7 and we win. Blacklust the Soldier, man. Too good. <laughs> Too good. And battle phase. Sorry, my. Hate to do it to you, but had to do it. Woo! Oh, man. Wait, my. There's something I want to say. Huh? Thank you. You said Adorless can learn more than defeat than victory, and you were correct. But you, Mai, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses, or I could never have defeated you. It's awfully nice of you to say that, and it seems to me I also still have a lot more to learn. About Adorless and about myself. But then, I suppose no Adorless ever learns all there is to know. Maybe the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel, Yugi. There'll be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. Does Yugi ever duel Mai again? I'm trying to remember, like, her duels she has. I think, doesn't she duel Joey next? And then, oh, dude, struggling to remember, but... Bandit Keith vs. Joey. The second semi-final match was Joey vs. Bandit Keith. In order to compete in the duel, each contestant had to present his tournament entry card, which Joey shockingly did not have. Unknown to Joey, Bandit Keith stole Joey's entry card the night before. Per the rules of the tournament, Joey was granted 5 minutes to find his card or be disqualified. Joey searched everywhere but was unable to find it. On his way back to the arena, he broke down in the hallway. Sorry sis, I came so close. Real close. 
Get up off the floor, Joey. And quit all your crying already. You're like a big baby. Who's crying? I got something in my eye. Stupid thing will come out. Mai handed him her handkerchief. Here. Just don't go blowing your nose in it. You know, every time I think I've got you figured, you surprise me. Huh? Tia, tell me about your little sister. And you're doing to win the tournament's prize money for her so she can have the operation. Sound like a bad soap opera, to be honest. But then, who doesn't love a bad soap opera? Anyway, see you around, hun. As Mai walked away, Joey noticed she had hidden her tournament entry card in the handkerchief. Wait, Mai! Take it. I don't need it anymore. One thing, though. Huh? Take Bandit Keith down. Joey ran back to the arena. So the punks come to give us the bad news, huh? Let me guess, you couldn't find that card anywhere. What are you talking about? I got it right here. Alright, Keith. Time to duel. Fine. You know, a part of me wanted to want you to show up. Nice little warm-up match might do me some good. I'll warm you up and wear you out. Tell me how it feels to be an amateur going up against the Intercontinental Dueling Champion. Ooh, the Intercontinental Championship? I could win a better prize than that in a box of cereal. Punk, I'll teach you to respect my title. Alright, man, I'm excited. I remember Barrel Dragon. I remember I pulled Barrel Dragon. Like, I think it was like one of the first packs I bought of the set. I can't remember what the set it was, but I just remember the my the feeling I had. I remember that so bad when I pulled Barrel Dragon because I just loved the like look of the card. Never used it. I think I might try to use it in like decks, but obviously it wasn't a great card. I kind of hope Bandit Keep gets Barrel Dragon out because I like Barrel Dragon, but then again, I hope he doesn't at the same time. All right. Uh. One face down, okay. Two face down. And just end this turn straight up, okay. What effect do you want me to use? Oh, probably missed it, yeah. Should we just, like... We've got seven things we can fuse. Uh, Guarding the Lamb Room, we just got. And Protect with the Throne. Flame Sword and the Fat Dry. Okay, so let's just summon this dude. And should we just attack for 1 5? Might as well. No, I don't want to activate MST. Got anything to stop me? No, you don't. Sweet. Alright, main phase 2. Uh, let's just set that. And then set MST. And we're good. And turn. Alright, what are you gonna do? End phase? Oh, okay. He must have bricked pretty hard then. Graceful charity, nice. Alright, so activate this. Come on. Give me some god draws. Right, uh. Get rid of that we can get like we've got three ingredients fusion here I think I just, I'd probably get like I don't know thousand dragon <laughs> got flame manipulator okay uh I guess I just I'm gonna summon this just for some damage, you know? Could get a Swamp Battle Guard, but... I'm gonna save it for next turn. Oh my goodness, I do not want to activate anything! I think if I hold down it... Yeah, if you hold down B, it just stops everything, so that's good. So that's what I want to start doing. Now, end turn, hold down B, so I don't have to activate this card. That's how we stop it from prompting us every single time. Oh my god, seriously? He's bricked so hard. Can we win now? Oh, we've won. Right, I think, yeah, if we summon you. And then we just poly. Get a thousand dragon. Dude, we've just won. Bandit Keith must have bricked so, so very hard. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay with this though. I'll take a nice, easy, free, cheap win. Alright, let's see this way as Mirror Force and you're just like, oh. Awkward. 
Alright, attack. Nice. And finish him off. Well, <laughs> Bandit Keep was easy. No way he beat me! This door doesn't count! The injury card that Joey showed to play in this match wasn't even his! Therefore, the door shouldn't count and he, uh, he ought to be disqualified right here. He's right, my card was missing. So my gimme ers. But tell me, Keith, how could you have known that this wasn't my card? Uh, I'm all ears, so don't want you to explain yourself. He doesn't need to. It's clear that Bandit Keith stole Joey's card. That's why he was so certain that you would never be able to find it. Take the scoundrel away! Far away! No! Now, something like in the Japanese, doesn't like Bandit Keith pull a gun on Pegasus or something? I swear something like that happens, like, doesn't he like fall down a trap door? <laughs> um, with Joey winning against Bandit Keith, it's now time for the final duel of the tournament. It was Joey vs Yugi. Best friends both dueling for great causes. I have to win this match so that I can duel Pegasus and save my grandpa. But to get to Pegasus, I have to beat my best friend Joey. I have to win this for my sister Serenity. Yug? Oh yeah, I thought like they spelled it wrong last episode, like where it says it you you know, you I thought it says UG, but it was just like um it's Yug. I forgot like Tristan and Joey something called Yug, don't they? But Yug, I hope you don't have any second thoughts about dueling me. I'm sorry, Joey. I don't know if I can do this. Suck it up, Yugi. You said it yourself that it, if it came down to us, we'd both just play our best and mo most honourable duel. That's the only way we're gonna really know which one of us is the best prepared to take on Pegasus in the final match. So let's duel. Okay, maybe Jury's right. May not want to do this, but still, it has to be done if we want to beat Pegasus. What'd you say, Yug? Let's do this thing. Alright, Joey, time to duel. Alright, let's go. I mean, Joey, if you lose, your sister's just gonna end up blind but still alive, and um, if I lose, my grandpa's just gonna basically be a vegetable for the rest of his life, so um, yeah, let's, let's try and win this. Alright, let's do this. I don't really remember this duel too well. Okay, but we just got some good hands. Uh, add one, okay, let's go for this. I kind of want to get Curse of Dragon. Why do we have Runner's Black Dragon? Can we get me? We might be able to get not Meteor Black Dragon. Uh, Red Eyes Skull Dragon? What's it called? Black Skull Dragon, that's it. Oh, dude. Should have probably gone for that. Uh... Right, I know it's, it's going to sound dumb. I'm not going to do anything just yet because I don't want to summon my guy the Dragon Champion just for it to die right away. I mean, he's not going to OTK me. 100%. Right, he's got his Polly. What are you going for? Okay. What are you fusing? Flame Swordsman? Yeah, Flame Swordsman. That's fine. All good. Do I love that animation. Go on, tank me for 1-8. I dare you. Oh no. I took so much life point damage. It's all good. We can draw like Dark Magician or something. Okay, another Ancient Rules, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna give Time Wizard. If I can get the effect off. Let's go for heads. Of course. Of course. Just my luck. <laughs> let's go for Polly. And then we're, uh, yeah, just get go Dragon Champion, take out Flame Swordsman, and then we're good. I was kind of hoping I can take out Flame Swords and do a direct attack, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Right, battle phase. Let's go. So we're attacking. Wait, can you not attack the side? Oh, I gotta do that. Yeah, I was gonna say, what, what was going on? <laughs> so, wouldn't let me attack the side? What was, what's up with that? Are we good? Are we good. <laughs> Alright. Should be fine. I think you can take out a guy, the dragon champion. With that, you might be able to. Hey! Wait! 
I thought you said it did heads! That was tails! What? Okay. I thought you called it wrong. Ah, what? It said heads were selected, right? Oh, I guess it means that's for us. We got heads. And guess, yeah. Guess it means that, not he selected heads. Which, uh, sucks. Got really excited then for a second, then bam! We lost. <laughs> oh, Joey, man. Still's kind of funny already. Oh, I, if you go for the effect and get it again. Right, so we got tails. Yes! Alright, there you go. Right. Oh, come on, really? Really? You gonna do me like this? Dude. Why do we just have, like, the brickiest hand ever right now? This is so bad. I mean, it'd be great if we had, like, you know, someone score a dumb magician or something in hand. Just. Seriously. Oh, face down, okay. Come on. Something good. Hey! Can I actually use this? Like, if we draw, like, the next two cards or someone's score on, like, Red Eyes Black Dragon, then it'll be absolutely fine. Right, let's go. Battle phase. Go for that 3 7. Please don't stop my attack. Oh, dude. Worst kind of person. Sakurutsu armor, man. So annoying. Right. Please don't someone like. He's got. He should have loads of like, monsters that can easily beat Mammoth Graveyard. Like Axe Raider and stuff, and he just can't draw it, apparently, which is good for us. <laughs> hey! Red Eyes Black Dragon, okay. Now I'm not complaining about the ancient rules now, because. Kind of helpful. And now we should be able to win. That's a uh, free six total. Oh, no, almost win. Free six total. Leave you a two fifty, my man. Be so funny if you like someone's time wizard gets it wrong. Like his last, I think he used two time wizards, so he might have one more. This does damage to himself. That would be great. <laughs> Please. Graceful charity, okay. So you're of someone's score on Rollins Black Dragon, okay. So can you get Black Skull Dragon too? Must be able to. Book of Secret Arts. Well, we haven't got anything, but let's finish this duel. Woo! Now onto the final duel of Duelist Kingdom. And gotta try and summon my favourite card. Well, Yugi. We know one of us had to lose, but the good news is that one of us got to win. So congratulations, man. Here, take my Glory the King's hand card. Show the Pegasus flunky croquet and he'll give you a three million bucks in prize money. No, Joey, you keep it. Your sister needs that money. Hugh, didn't enter this tournament to get rich, Joey. Just here to save my grandpa and the Kyber brothers. Please use this money for Serenity's operation. When I lost the duel, I had lost all hope for saving my sister, but now, Yugi, thank you. Now go on, take down Pegasus. Ooh. Hey. Alright, the match of the millennium. Let's go. The time had finally come. As champion of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yugi won the right to do a Maximilian Pegasus. Promise me that you will free the souls of my grandfather and all the others. Yes. If I am the one that defeats you instead, you have to fulfill your end of the bargain as well. Take a close look at the card you hold in your hand, Yugi boy. There's a reason why it's blank. For if I win, I claim your soul. Forever. You have much to gain, but much at risk as well. It's a risk I'm willing to take to free the souls of my grandpa and the others, but I don't plan to lose. I hate to disappoint you, Pegasus, but I have no intention of ever becoming a part of your soul card collection. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready, man. Ooh. Gonna summon a Magician of Black Chaos. My favourite card. I don't think it looks, like, looks amazing, to be honest. Alright. Let's do this, boy. Alright, not a bad hand. Alright, set. I assume you're still going to use the tunes, but... Maybe it'll be a bit different, just because it's going to most likely be the Thousand Eyes of Strict 
deck and I can't remember how Thousand Eye Restricts works, but I remember how Relinquished works. Yeah, that's still going to be... Um... Oh, you can get another Tune Table of Contents? It's a good way to thin out the deck. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. And then what are you doing next? Set a card. Right. That's fine. Any special summon tune summon skull. Okay. Uh but you can't tap the turn at special summon. You must pay 500 life points to a declare attack. Okay. That's fine. Alright, we got this. Oh, Graceful Charity, nice. I think one of the unicorns, is it from, yeah, from the field to the graveyard, so I can get rid of this. Well, I might want to keep it, but, don't know. Right, this can be used to reach someone any one ritual monster, you must also send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard, levels equal, okay. Uh, let's get rid of you. Set you, and then we end our turn. Oh, we can just um, spell bind in the circle to summon the skull. Nope, do not want to activate this. Oh, okay. Uh, that just adds a ritual monster and, or one spell from your deck to hand. Okay, so he's gonna get relinquished. Great. Uh, that's fine, you can attack that. And he wants to- oh, he's not going for a direct attack, but that's fine. <laughs> Take your 500 life points. It's all good. Right, Swords of Revealing Light. That... actually okay. So if we go... Activate this now. Flip this up. Give it one of the unicorn. We can take out that ritual dude. Someone's skull is going to sit there the whole time. Just got to get rid of um, Toon World and that will die. So at the moment we're doing alright. Doing alright. Cool. Fine. Might crash into that. Magical hats, okay. Uh, let's set that. Should I crash into it? Oh, this is normal summon or flip. I was wish if it was just summon, so I could just like special summon it and get the stuff I need. Um. I'm just going to crash into it. I don't want to take any, like, damage. Oh, no, it's fine, actually. We'll, we'll cancel that. Just in case I do draw Engineer Black Chaos, then I, I need the stars. Alright, setting that. That's fine. Going to probably take 1-9 damage now. Oh, no. Oh, I can't attack because I'm supposed to reveal a light. Duh. So we'll get all capital tell. Right, so... Summon that bad boy. And we will end our turn for now. Alright, cool. Right, now we can attack us. Gotta be careful. Hey, there we go. Nice. So let's activate this. Oh, what? Okay, but I get to draw a card. So that's fine. Uh. Well, okay. That'll do. So 
thick. And... Let's go for battle phase. Oh, dude, that sucks. Alright, uh, I'm gonna keep... No, actually, I shouldn't have to actually. Maybe I can... Wait, did he target this? Of course I can attack. Oh, this face-up card is fine. Uh, main phase two. It's going for the effect. Target myself. Do 500 and... There we go. It's all good. Oh, no. He's got relinquished out now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, he's on the... Why are you not getting relinquished out? Should have... Okay. Uh, let's... Tribute... This. That's to be one unicorn's gonna come to my side of the field, though. Alright, so we can take that out, but if a monster reborn, and I can just do something to defeat that and get 2,500 damage off. Yeah, let's go for it. How much? Ah, oh, can I just see the field again? Check field. X. One five. You see something more than 1,300 attack. That can't attack. Is this just summoned or is it normal summoned? Yeah, just turn it summoned, okay. Right, so let's just go for this dude then. And we can battle phase. So I just want to try and take Pegasus out as fast as possible before he just eats me up or relinquished. And we can beat him with Magician of Black Chaos, then everything will be fine. Oh, I just need to get the, the uh, ritual card for it, then we're good. Oh, snap, that's not good. Alright, 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 alright. Just gonna end. Just waiting for him to get relinquished out. Any matter of time. Like, he should get the spell. Hey, he's finally got the spell. I like, should have done this ages ago. Shinu's sure got two of. Yeah, use relinquish. Oh, wow. Use relinquish to get relinquished. Fair enough. I mean, whatever. Right. Uh. Guess I'll just have to do this. Try and keep me alive. What do I want to do? Yeah, let's go for that. Alright, please keep me alive. Nice. No! It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> that. I'm not gonna do anything. So just end with that. Will I give it a summon skull? No, it's just spell cards. Does equip cards count as spell cards when you take a monster, though? I guess we'll find out in a second. I should have reactivated this before, because now if it goes... be less damage to him. Okay, cool. Alright, let's just... activate this. 
Yeah, it does count, so good. But the problem is, I just need a monster. Oh, dude. If we can just draw one monster with 900 attack or more, we can attack relinquished, right? Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Crystal Charity, okay, sick. Right, uh. We haven't got Kribo, but maybe we should keep that. Got no stat shot. Kill Guardian has 1 4. We can get you down to 200 life points, but you'll suck up Kill Guardian and just win. So I've got to destroy the Relinquished 100%. Keep that in case you summon something. Get rid of Gaia. Right. Oh, ho -ho, almost did that completely wrong. Oh, no, that wouldn't have... Mm. No, that wouldn't have made a difference. Maybe I could have beat him there if I did something differently. But no, that wouldn't have worked from my side. Alright. And turn. This is so close here. You go to defense position, boy. Oh, now nah, nah, we get Kriwa. Of course we do. Let's keep that. Uh... Go get rid of that in case you want to try and get a thousand iron strict, that would be bad. Oh, dude, we just like, I don't know, I can get brain control on mm, like the extra life points, we just need something. He's so weak. If he wants to set like a spell card, that'd be great. Uh, I guess we summon this. Alright, battle phase. You attack you. And you attack you. Sick. Alright, we got this, man. Maybe. Aha! We win! Woo! Oh, dude, I really want to activate this so bad. So bad. Oh, I, I shouldn't seem to win the duel. Just because I so badly want to use the Magician of Black Chaos. Oh, it would have been so nice, but I could have used him. Then probably lost. Pegasus, you're finished. We've won. It's impossible. My eye, my magic. You've failed me, I've lost. The duel showed Yugi that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was his friend. Yugi learned that if you, they worked together, they could accomplish anything. Spirit of the Puzzle, don't know how to thank you. It was your courage and the love your friends had for you that I prevailed this day. And your determination. We all did it, together. That's right, as friends. And in the end, that's what it came down to. Friends being there for one another. We won. Way to go, yeah. We all won, thanks guys. Yugi saved the souls of his grandpa, Sedo, and Mokuba. However, there lurked another danger from the shadows. His friend Bakura, still possessed by the evil spirit in the Millennium Ring, had an agenda of his own. So although Yugi thought his problems were over, things were about to get much worse. Now that Pegasus is weakened by his duel with Yugi, he's given me the opportunity I've been waiting for. The time has finally come for me to add Pegasus Millennium item to my collection. Oh. Hey. Alright, so. Next episode, we'll be entering a Battle City. Where we got Yugi vs Bandit Keith, and then we got... I think that's the Exodia guy. Arcana dude. And then Weevil. The... Uh, Slifer guy. Yeah, so next episode we'll probably get up to the Slifer guy. Looking forward to that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.